Hi guys, Hyperlative here, the Norwegian Gamer, and this is the second episode of World, Weapons in Real Life. In this series, I talk about different guns that I've been using in games, and talk about the real life counterparts. In this episode, I'm going to cover the M249 Squad Assault Weapon, often referred to as the SAW. It is a light machine gun used in squads as a cross between the M16 assault rifle and a full-blown machine gun, providing a wall of lead and a high volume of fire while still having the accuracy and portability of a rifle. So first off, let's get the statistics out of the way. The M249 is 1040mm long or 40.9 inches. The barrel length is 523 millimeters or 20.59 inches. The weight of the gun is 6.85 kilograms or 15.07 pounds, which is unloaded without a magazine or anything, just a bare bones gun. The rate of fire is, it says effectively at 200 rounds per minute, but it's often used at 750 rounds per minute when laying down suppressive fire and it can even be turned up to a thousand rounds per minute if needed. The M249 is gas operated, has a magazine size of 200 rounds metal link belts and uses a 556 by 45 NATO cartridge. The muscle velocity is at 950 meters per second or 300 feet per second and the effective range is a thousand meters or 3,280 feet. The M249 saw entered the service in 1989 under the invasion of Panama and acted as a replacement for the PIG, more commonly known as the M60. The US Army was looking for a lighter gun than the M60 and the choice fell on the Belgian-made FN Minimi. The gun was adopted with minor changes to make it meet the requirements of the US Army and renamed M249. The gun has since the introduction in the US Army went through several changes to improve based on the feedback from field use. One of the more stranger changes is the magazine type. The one we see in the game is the traditional box magazine made in plastic. However, later years FN has introduced a pocket magazine made in fabric. This magazine is lighter and uses less space. Weight is one of the main strengths of the M249. During the wars under the Cold War, the US Army had been using the M60, which was, while powerful, big, heavy and clunky to use in the field. An M249 with a magazine of 200 bullets, bipod, sling and cleaning kit weighs in at approximately 10 kilograms, which is still almost half a kilo lighter than a bare-bones M60. The M249 can also be fed ammunition from a Stanag magazine. This means that if the LMG gunner should run out of ammo, he could use the magazine made for a M16. This is not recommended, however, since the magazine can't be fed the bullets fast enough, which often leads to jamming. There has been developed several different variants of the M249, the most common being the M249 PIP. This version has several improvements over the original, including but not limited to an improved and stronger bipod, the aforementioned fabric soft pack magazines, a tactical rail for mounting scopes and other accessories, and several guards to prevent burns on the user. There's the M249 Para for airborne troopers. The M249 is lighter and shorter for better portability. The M249 Special Purpose Weapon is also a smaller and lighter version, but still being longer than the Para variant. The carrying handle, magazine insertion well for the M16 magazines, and the vehicle mounting lug has been removed for weight reduction. The Mark 46 Mod Zero is used by US SOCOM and is very similar to the pair variant, the most noticeable difference being the standard plastic buttstock of the M249 PIP and not the collapsible one of the 
M249 Para. The Mark 48, however, is made to use the heavier caliber 7.62x51mm and is used by US SOCOM when there is a need for a heavier caliber. The future of the M249 looks somewhat grim. A lot of the first generation M249s are suffering after prolonged and heavy use. One of the major problems is warping of the receiver rails. This is not a problem on later generations however because of the reinforcements of the rails and better welding. The US Marine Corps is intending to buy a little over 4000 of the M27 infantry automatic rifle to partially replace the M249s in their service. So that's the M249 guys. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you tune in for the next episode of World.